Hello and welcome to another video by The Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, I will be going over the steps needed in order to set up your PetNet Smart Feeder 2.0 with Google Home. This is an advertised feature by PetNet, but isn't very straightforward on setup. Looking in the app itself, you will only see the ability to link to Amazon Alexa. If you try to find PetNet within the primary Google Home app as well, you're going to end up empty-handed. There are a few different ways to link your feeder to Google Home. The first way is by browsing to the PetNet page for Google Home and clicking on Get Details. This will open a Google Assistant page that allows you to link the two together. The next way is through the Google Assistant page. This is actually something I was not aware about until looking into setting this connectivity up, and I think it's kind of cool. I will be checking it out in more depth on my own. To use this method, you will need to browse to the Google Assistant webpage, click on what it can do, and search for PetNet. Once the PetNet page is opened, you can link your accounts together. The final and easiest way, in my opinion, is by saying or typing PetNet into Google Assistant on your phone. This will trigger your assistant to start the linking process. All three options will require you to log into your PetNet account, so make sure you have your credentials ready. Setup itself is pretty easy once you figure out where to begin. With any of the three possible methods, you will be directed to log into your PetNet account using your username and password. Once you're logged in, the linking process completes on its own without any further interaction. After setup is complete, you can interact with your Google Home or Google Assistant to work with your PetNet Smart Feeder 2.0. Currently, the functionality is very limited and using the features itself is not very natural. You have to ask Google to ask PetNet to feed your pet, which is just not that free-flowing. Feed my pet. Sure, for that, you might like talking to PetNet. Want to give it a try? Yes. Okay, here's PetNet. How many cups would you like to feed? 132. How many cups would you like to feed? A million. Try saying something like three sixteenths cups. How many cups would you like to feed? One sixteenth. Okay, I am feeding Spice one sixteenth cups. This is similar to how the original integration with Roomba was, but they did fix it, I believe early last year, with the ability to just directly ask Google to vacuum instead of having to ask Google to ask Roomba to vacuum. I'm not really sure what's needed for this interaction to be made more natural, but I hope it gets updated soon. When attempting to use Google Home with your smart feeder, you will notice that only a single command is possible, and that is to feed your pet. While I feel this would be the most useful command for smart assistant use, the website does advertise that you can simply ask, was mittens fed this morning? which is currently not an option. I personally would only ever use the ability to ask if my pet was fed and not to feed my cat any extra meals as she is on a very specific feeding schedule. When using Google to feed your pet, you are able to specify the amount of food instead of it just picking the normal feed amount, which is a nice feature and shows it was thought out. Overall, the Google Assistant integration does have a lot of work to be done to really be polished and to have full functionality, but the feature itself is at least a start. Make sure to check out the description below for all the links referenced in this video, as well as the links to all the different products I went over. I would love to hear about any tech or gadgets you use when it comes to your furry friends that help make their life better in the comments below. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. It really does help out the channel a lot. And make sure to get subscribed to the channel for more great tech content that will be coming out really soon. Thank you for watching.